Hi guys, so you join me here and we're actually at Tunnel Barn Farm. So I've been here with Jake doing some filming for Sonu. So all about the different bait boosters and how to use them. So keep an eye out for that. And while I've been here, Jake's gone now and I had a few hours left. I've got Ladies National tomorrow. So I thought I'll have a cheeky practice, why not? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get on box. I've heard there's some big skimmers in here, to be honest, and I know there's a load of F1s and other fish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a play with micros and expanders and just see what I catch. So I'm gonna get on box now, come and join me and we'll see how we get on. So we're now on the box. I'm all baited up, ready to go. Let's get some fishing done. Ship out, plumbed up right on edge these reeds in line with a tree nice flat hard bottom and away we go there we go just put a little bit of bait in see what happens fishing expanders and micros so a lot of skimmers in here a lot of f1s so i'm just gonna see what comes along Get a few bites I'm sure. Lovely venue this, full of fish. There's always a bite or two to be had. Oh, there we go. Didn't take too long. Plodding along here, it's fight quite hard in here. We've got quite a strong elastic on, but with it being edge fishing. Oh, it's a nice one. We want to get them in, no messing around. Still got a bit of life left in him yet. There, he's coming now. Nice F1, look at him. Oh, blowing him up for you. Lovely golden F1. Look at him. Like a bar of gold he is. Look at that. Lovely looking fish. Nicely upped as well. Straight out, popping back. So straight back out again using my pink expanders got a bit of that flora bait booster on them so it's just dyed them a nice pink colour and then my micros so just a few micros in there so they are fishery pellets but they've got um, some of them have got a bit of the flora boost on them so it looks like that they've gone a bit red Fishing a red expander, pink expander. Mm, seem to be catching a few fish. So we'll go back out now. Down this edge, so line it up. Quite a hard bottom here as well, which is quite nice. So I'll let the float settle. I'll give it a minute or so, see if there's out down there. And if I don't get a bite, oh, I've got one straight away. I'm gonna say I can then feed, but as soon as we've got one, I'll feed after I've got one tip your pot over and then they're waiting for when I get back hopefully next time got some nice skimmers as well to be honest I think this is another skimmer look at that oh. there we go so not all F1s and carp you will catch skimmers as well but stay still get my hook out But these are good weight builders if you look at the size of him it's just like a small f1 really but they're coming a bit easier as well so we don't mind them if you're getting one of them a chucky soon put a weight together so same again because i put a bit of bait in last time always make sure you can see i've got a bit of skimmer slime on there we don't like that i don't know if fish like it or not i definitely don't like it so I just pull Pull that off your line. Flick it in your face. There's a bit there still. So literally the same again. Nice little pink expander. Not many micros, just a few. Cut the elastic out. And we're ready to go again. So I'll catch one more and then I'll give you a run fruit rig. Dead simple it is, not complicated as always. So literally line up, lined up with a tree over there, drop my rig in. And once again I'll give it 
a minute or so, just see if I have any indications or any bites. The last thing I want is to be putting more bait in when there's fish already down there. So, just add a little indication then. And if your bait does drift off of where, where you are fishing, rather than leaving it there, just move it and put it back over the spot where it's meant to be. There's no point fishing anywhere else but on the spot where you've been putting your bait and you're plumbed up for so you know that you're dead on bottom. So that hadn't actually gone this time, not just yet. So literally my little toss pot, sprinkle them micro pellets in over the top and they're going to go straight down and sit around my expander. So that's all set right nice, there's no line, there's no indications, it's just what we want. So when a fish comes in, got a nicely presented little bit of bait there, hook in the middle, with your expander pellet on, suck it all in. Oh, there we go. And like magic, we've got one. I like it when the fish play ball. <laughs> Could be another skimmer, but like I said before, we, we don't mind. Yeah, look at that, not quite as big as other, but if you just think then, what if we've been a couple of minutes, three minutes or so, and we've had an F1, a couple of skimmers, got to put at least three, four pound in there, if not more, all in the space of a few minutes, so I'm going to put this fish back and we'll have a look at rig. So just give you a quick look at the rig that I'm using. So first of all, up at the business end. So that's actually a 13 Jura slit, which is probably a little bit stronger than what I'd normally recommend. But we've got a match coming up and I'm practicing for that. So I'd rather get in that bit quicker. And obviously any fish that I hook that are a bit bigger, I'll get them in as well. But the smaller fish, as you've seen, you can catch skimmers on it and you're not going to pull out of them. Main line, I've got 017, power line that is. And then I've got a Carp shallow float in a 4x14s, so nice and heavy, bit sits there perfectly. Bulk of number 9s or 8s even right down at the bottom, and then a 3 inch hook length. So it's dead important to have a 3 inch hook length because it means that all your shots sat right above it, sat on bottom. If you've got longer hook lengths, they can waft round a little bit, um, especially with fishing expander pellets, which are notorious for wafting, but closer to the bottom you get your hook, your bulk even, the less movement that your hook will have. And then hook length, I've got a size 16 GPM to 013. And literally, that is it. That's the rig on a puller kit. And let's go get some more fish. So there we go. Put my expander pellet on, just four mil. Some micros in my pot. I'm going to ship back out and hopefully catch some more. See if we can get amongst a few F1s. So, lower my rig in right down on spot where I want it. Like before, I'll give it a minute or so, just make sure if there's any fish there that they eat my bait. Or even a few seconds, no indication, so I'll just put a few of them micros in, replace my float so it's dead over where I've just put my, my micros. Everything's in a nice tight area. So any fish that do come in now, be straight onto that expander pellet that'll stick out just that little bit in amongst the micros. It's sat there lovely. Lovely day for it, red hot. I do like summer. Lovely time to be out. I've actually been doing a little bit of filming with Sonu today. So I've been out doing some product videos and tips, so make sure you keep an eye out for them. So I thought I might as well stay on, got a couple of hours, get a video done for you. Oh, there we go, run that. I wonder what this is, I reckon it'll be an F1 or a big skimmer, it's not doing much, but it feels decent. Yeah, nice F1. Look at him. Won't mind a few more of them. He's plodding around. Look at that. He's in the nest. 
tell you what, he weighs a bit. Just a looking. Nice. Oh, well now he decides to kick off, doesn't he? Just about to see nicely hooked in the corner of the mouth. Starts going all grumpy on me. There we go. Look at that. Hold him up. I'll say I'm going to hold him up. We'll see how this goes. I might not hold him up. Let me see. One more try. There. Quick look at him. Yeah, he got there. So I'll pop him back. See if we can get another one. Covered in fish slime. <laughs> There we go. Another pink to make the girls wink. Quite enjoying these pink ones. A few more pellets. Let's see if we can get another one. Nice F1 that one. Really enjoyed. So exactly the same spot. There we go, drop it in. I'll give it a, well, I'll say a minute, it's probably not gonna be, oh, there we go. Um, I'm just trying to get him under control. Oh, he's out. He went in the reeds. Did me like a good one. It's coming out now. Oof. He's a nice one. Look at him. I want a bit peat tong that we got there. Tried to do me in reeds. Went round the corner, had a bit of pole behind me that I couldn't reach, but we're here. And he's in the net. Look at him for a beast. Not a bad size, am I? Slightly on the large side. Oh, he's even squeaking. Yeah, hoof to you too, fish. There we go. Well, been perfectly up, to be fair. Look at him. Might be a bit tired now. Look at that. Nice big F1 he is. Lovely. Sticking back. And I reckon possibly get one more and then we'll end it. So we've got to, got to be off soon. So start packing away. But it's one of them. When you're catching fish, you don't want to leave, do you? Stick another expander on. A bit more food. There's probably going to be more fish under my feet than what there is over there. The amount of pellets that I keep dribbling in. But we'll keep round here. There's obviously quite a few fish here. Having a lovely time catching a mixture of skimmers and F1s. Some big F1s to be fair as well. lots of bites that's what I like I like being active don't really like sitting and waiting same again so I'll leave it a few seconds maybe if I don't literally just tip some pellets in lower my rig back in and it seems to go but sometimes I catch them before I even put my bait in so not wasting much time and if there is one there put a bit of bait in and they might be there when you get back got a nice indication then there's definitely one there oh there we go trying to do me in the reeds again must be one of them Big F1s, I reckon. But don't do all apart from pull you into reeds. It's coming round. I think we'll call it an end on this one anyway. Big grumpy F1. Try to do me in reeds. Oh, a bit of bad net in there. Thought I'd scoop him. Missed him. Never going to live it down. 
It'll be mine next go, don't you worry. Come on, fish it. There we go. In the net it goes. So, I think that is it from me for today. I'm gonna pack away, get sorted. Hope you've enjoyed the video, because I know I certainly have. Look at that, catching massive F1s like that. A few skimmers along the way. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.